anyway, um, so my name is Pascal Guillon. I'm a music composer and a software developer. I produced a lot of music for lots of people around the world. Um, then I started to be very interested in computers, uh, took tons of uh, programming classes, started to make softwares, um, started to make some games, uh, worked with the uh, Hyperloop transportation technologies company, made a software for that company. Uh, right now I'm making a, a software in finance. So I'm actually highly interested in research and building proof of concepts. So uh, actually the game I made a few years ago is, uh, is really a subject, a good example of how we, I could implement NFTs in it to make it more interesting. Okay, hey, let's let's talk about let's start by uh, talking about your game to understand how uh, in your uh, amazing career and all the different things that you've done, you know, uh, that uh, that give you like this uh, this very interesting um, uh, vision of uh, of the world uh, from music to your yeah, hyperloop and and uh, and now blockchain. You 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 look at so many different things. Uh, so you uh, the game. So you you, you created a, a kind of game. Uh, uh, online uh, at early step uh, before uh, like uh, uh, everyone uh, how do you think that what was this game and how do you think that this game can help you to now understand what is the trends in in, in nft so basically uh, the game itself was uh, extremely simple but basically as a music composer and software developer i managed to build uh, an audience online and when you have an audience, you're trying to find a way to entertain them with unique experiences. So in 2017, I created a video game that anybody can play online for free. Uh, and here's why I'm thinking about implementing NFTs in the game now. I could make the game extremely hard to finish, which would be motivation for players. And to reward a player who would manage to finish the video game, I could give him a music track I composed that actually never got released. And he would be the only person to have it. So he, it would be pretty much a collectible. And that's exactly what NFTs are actually, digital collectibles. So by transforming my music track into an NFT, which is called minting, the whole process could be totally automated. Meaning as soon as a player would manage to finish my video game, he would be rewarded by getting my music track on his digital wallet. That's how you store NFTs. Then he would be able to keep it as long as he wants, like as a collector, or he could sell it to somebody else and I could get potentially a percentage of every single time it gets sold if I wish to. This is something you set up when you create your NFT. So that's why I'm very interested in that. Okay, okay, we understand why you, 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 you go there. But Pascal, let's go back to the super basics of things. You know, it's like, okay, let's imagine that I have, uh, I, I have just a, a, a barely an understanding of what crypto is about. Yeah. So now, what, what, what the heck is NFT? You know, what, yeah. what is it? Well, how different is this? And um, to to understand how it could be at some point useful for, for you. So let's go back to the basics. What is an NFT? So in basic words, uh, an NFT is a digital collectible. It is unique and rare. It can be a picture, a video, piece of music, concert ticket, in-game assets, which data are stored on the blockchain. A public blockchain is a ledger, think like an Excel sheet for people who are like familiar with Excel, that is supposed to be immutable and that anybody can check online. So in the real world, a collectible needs to be identified by experts who deliver certificates of validity, for NFTs, as soon as an NFT is created, all its informations, including a unique ID, are stored on the blockchain like Ethereum. It means that anybody can go online and check the correct information about this NFT. It removes the risk of falsification and corruption when dealing with collectibles in the real world because you have to deal with people. So uh, another big advantage for um, any community leaders is that you can unlock uh, unique experiences using NFTs because you store your NFT on a digital wallet. So if you go to a website and it connects to the digital wallet, it could potentially give you access to hidden parts of a website. So if you are a fan, suddenly, I don't know, I'm talking about Steve Aoki, for example, who is a big fan of that stuff. 
if you have your digital wallet with an NFT from Steve Aoki, you go on his website and suddenly because you own the NFT, you are one of the only person in the world to have access to this hidden part on the website, which will give you a unique experience, maybe some music that nobody has heard yet, or a special video, a special video clip, that kind of stuff. And what I said, uh, as an, which is very interesting as a creator, uh, you can set up your NFT so that you get paid each time it gets sold again and again and again and again. So that's very, very cool, actually. And it doesn't go through other third parties. It's completely automated. It doesn't involve other people. So when it's fully automated like that, it resolves a lot of problems. Okay, just to just to understand. Sorry, let's imagine I, I don't know much things. Uh, so, for example, I have Spotify, and uh, I can download song from Spotify. What is the difference between like downloading a song from Spotify and downloading an yeah. NFT? You see what I mean? How well, the thing is, downloading a song from Spotify, anybody can do it. So, like, like a, a million people will have the same song. I'm talking about something that is unique. So basically it would be, it's a unique art, a piece of art in the examples we're talking about. This is something, there is not, not two of them. This is why fans usually go after. That's what they want. They want a unique piece of their favorite artist. That's what we're talking about. That's the big difference. Okay, okay. So, okay. So unique proof of, uh, of uh, uh, ownership of uh, a song or of any asset or creative assets. Okay, yeah. we can. Okay, perfect. Um, maybe we can uh, go to uh, uh, people will have, of course, occasion to, to ask questions. You, 